Hi sisters, welcome to a new creative video. Today I want to invite you to a painting session in which I will show you how to create this little mushroom friend. For this you will need some watercolor brushes. I use three different kinds. All synthetic hair round tipped brushes from a size 11 to a zero liner. I, also I like to add some details with fine liners and I used a mix of 0 0.03, 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. I used a white brush marker from Stadler for some highlights and of course my new Van Gogh watercolor set in pills. If you have watercolors in tubes, that's also perfectly fine to use today. Of course, have some tissue paper by hand and some water to mix your paint. We will start with a white A4 300 gram sheet of paper and some HB pencil for sketching the contour of our mushroom. The most important part of today's painting is observation. So I want you to take a close look at this mushroom I found in the woods. I believe it's called Mycena Arcangeliana or Angel's Bonnet. It's a very tiny and delicate fungi that has different kinds of beige and browns and is most known for its whimsical shape. So let's start creating the color palette for this mushroom. We have a mix of warm and cold toned browns and beiges. I start with white as a base for all of the colors and mix it with blue, brown and ochre in different proportions. I invite you to play around with the colors and see how many shades of beige and light brown you can create that come close to the color of the fungi. Create a lighter shade for the places that touches more light, a color for the shadow that can be grayish and a darker brown for the darkest corners and details. So once we've got our colors, we can start with sketching. Try to observe the curve of the cap, the A-form skirt and the rounder tip. But don't look for symmetry. It's more about creating an organic and uneven shape. The stem is long, thin and curved and becomes thicker and rounder on the bottom. Are you ready to start painting? Wet your brush and start painting a white layer on the lower half of the cap. You can add with touches your light brown shade on top of the wet painting. This technique is called wet on wet and creates a more natural ombre effect. We can add the more darker shade of brown on the upper half of the cap. The base of the stem is also a lighter shade, becoming darker on the bottom. When we have this, we can start adding some darker details such as the shadows on the side, the gills under the cap and the lines on top of the cap with a darker warm brown. Feel free to add as many details with watercolors as you want. You can also leave it more abstract if that's what you're into. Lastly, I'd like to add some details with fine liner to create some more depth in the contour, the lines on top of the cap and the shadows by adding dots in different sizes. As an extra detail, I like to add a more earthy effect by creating dots with dark brown at the bottom of the mushroom and some spickles on top of the mushroom. And that's it! This is the end result of the painting. I love how cute it turned out. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know in the comments how it went. I would love to see your version of the illustration. Don't be afraid to put your own touch. Uh, this is just my tutorial for you. And Yes, let me know which other plant or species or object you would like to learn how to draw and we can uh, do it next time. 
thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy your creative time uh, with yourself bye bye see you next time